Good morning everyone. This is going to be our second drive this morning. Went and edited real quick that first one. Um, and going back out to go hiking with Onyx and just going on a loop around town. Uh, this is our standard test loop to Coral Sandberg this morning. And we're going to see how it does. As you can see, if you watched the first video already, uh, it is clearing up this morning. Uh, I'm supposed to, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be sunny today. But uh, the rain has basically stopped, uh, cameras are clean, and uh, we are ready to go. Uh, if any of you are new here, uh, and you are regularly watching the videos and you enjoy what you see, I would appreciate uh, a uh, subscribe down below. Uh, I always love seeing new people join in and enjoy for the ride, literally and figuratively. <laughs> and um, we'll see what this uh, gives us today. Um, I have actually not done this route yet on um, any 10.69 versions, uh, but we are going to see what it does. Traditionally, I've done this good five times or more with zero disengagements. So, still no blinker. I'm going to manually turn that on. And, um, but good speed and lane selection as it was in the previous update. Um, it seems to me that when the road is wet, you see how this line comes right here? Uh, on the line on the right side of the road, it seems to detect it better uh, when the road is wet. And so this is probably the best it's ever done that on ramp. Um, and good merge. So that's great everyone. Yeah, uh, I would say that on ramp is probably a fluke more than anything. There was no traffic this morning. Well, there's nothing in the way of getting on on the on-ramp and uh, yeah the road like I said the road was wet so that might be why it's reading the line a little bit better I'm not positive on that but um, it definitely it clearly was the best it's ever done that on-ramp um, so hopefully it stays that way Off the highway here, and now that's it's gonna let's do it automatically and see which lane it gets in. Lane selection is gonna be a focus uh, more so on future videos now. That's all oh, so much is getting so good in these versions that like the things that aren't good really stick out now. Like, this is great, got in the lane I wanted it to get in, slowed down, and it is great speed to the red light. Okay, let's see how it takes this turn. So, the left turn it does much better in, which is the turn it gets in most often. The right turn it is messed up on, not this update obviously, but last, I think it was, la no, it was the update before last it messed up on. Um, it just kinda freaked out and almost decided to go straight. Got some more rain again. So the rain's supposed to be clearing up today, I think, unless it's one of those days where it just kind of keeps on forming on radar. As long as it doesn't get too hard, it shouldn't disable it on us. And we'll just kind of keep on going the same speed as long as no one's tailgating us. Okay, so, so it shows poor weather detected, navigation on the or full cell drive degraded which means it's not going to lane change, which is, it doesn't need to lane change. Um, it needs to stay in this lane. Um, so that might be a good thing because it's not going to try and get in the right lane. So the previous time I did this, um, it actually didn't get in this lane, which is great. Or sorry, it didn't get in the right lane, which is great because it needs to stay in this lane right here. Which is interesting. So you notice how that truck, the truck probably purposely got in that right lane to cut in no, we don't want to do that car. Which is interesting because that usually means it's not gonna lane change when it says poor weather detected, it's degraded, but it just tried to change lanes. So I'm not sure exactly what that means unless it adapts quicker. Um, if you're new to the channel, the reason why you don't wanna get in the right lane is because that right lane ends. So you have to immediately get back over in the left lane 
the only reason you would want to get in the right lane is likely what it's likely what that truck is doing okay is trying to get in front of traffic and this van part same thing this van is doing the van cut in front of me if my car would have just gone and not tried to get over it would have been fine but it immediately has to get back over which is why like um, it shouldn't be doing that and so last update didn't do that this update is back again so that, that, that has to do with how it perceives map data and probably perceives the traffic. And of course, it stops too hard for that van, but at least it starts back up pretty well. And let's see how it does on railroad tracks since we don't have a car in front of us. It's not, not slowing down properly for the railroad tracks, um, but it does stay a little bit further right than it has in previous versions. So I've noticed um, so far, I don't know if they've made any changes to going around curves, but it definitely feels like it's, um, uh, what am I trying to say? It's, uh, it, it goes fast around curves, which is good. However, it seems to be more likely to cross the yellow line to keep, like, a, um, comfortable in-car experience, if you will. It doesn't make the corner as sharply, but that's just because it didn't start turning soon enough. Uh, this is going to be a big point of interest for me living in the mountains we have a lot of curvy roads um if you look at a lot of the other beta testers in like the midwest you know flat areas where it's not you don't have these curves on a regular basis and so you get one curve and it's like half a curve of what it is here and um and it's like oh it does great i'm like cool the one curve in 100 square miles it does great on um, so it's not common situation for other testers like it is here. Uh, if you look at uh, Mike's videos from C Cyber Owners, um, he has even worse turns. Uh, he's a little bit further up in the mountains than I am here. And he has, the roads are ridiculous there. They're, they're meant for horses. Uh, and of course they've been paved over and changed to use cars. And so the, the roads are just not, not too great, if you will. I'm pretty sure my wheels are turned. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know why the car turned right. Um, other beta testers mentioned this happening on the previous update where it would just it would turn right, which you don't want in an intersection. If someone misses me or doesn't see me and rear ends me, then we want the car to go straight. And it's really hesitant on this turn. Of course, this is one of the first times in a while I've done this route in the rain. Um, I can't remember the last time. So that certainly plays a role in how well it's performing. Um, that being said, we are at zero disengagements and we only have one turn left uh, for it to fail at. So uh, we'll see. So phantom break for that car right there. Phantom brake for that car too. Phantom brake pretty hard for that car. Yeah, so I don't know if it's the rain. I think it's the rain, everyone, which is interesting. It must be how the water's being included the camera slightly. Because in dry weather, phantom braking is about almost gone. Um, but in this wet weather, it seems to have much more phantom braking. Now turn right onto Little River Road. Got my squeak in. I apologize to everyone for that. Eventually, I'm going to get grease injected into it and get that fixed. But, yeah. So that was zero disengagements, everyone. Um, unless we have something here in the next two seconds. But I have to disable it to turn in right here. I don't, I'm not going that route. We're going, we are going right here. But yeah, again, zero disengagements in the rain latest version um did i notice really any improvements i mean a couple slight things this route's pretty basic so if it makes this route it's gonna basically um make older routes um but yeah i i guess i guess we can call it um no worse no better but again it's in the rain that that's a big distinction this is in the rain this time and so Ooh, actually 
I wanted to park over on the right, but then I realized there's a pine tree right there. I don't want sap all over my car. So we're gonna park right here. But everyone, uh, I appreciate you watching. We have two more videos today, and I expect they're gonna be on wet roads like this one, so that's gonna be a more challenging test for it. But if you all have questions, put them down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.